Hi, thanks Fred for being here. Hi, um, we are at Moodle Mood Global 2023 with Fred from Blindsight Networks representing our certified integration Big Blue Button uh, virtual classroom that is embedded in Moodle Core. So hopefully a feature that helps a lot of users. Can you tell us a bit more about your view and how you are supporting this need that is in the, in the community? Right, so the key thing is that a virtual classroom is not a meeting. The goal of the virtual classroom is not to meet, it is to learn. And for us, virtual learning is about empowering the teacher to effectively engage the students. A lot of classes today are taught with video conferencing systems, which you share your screen, you share your video, and students like passively watch. Maybe you're kind of looking through the keyhole and seeing which students are sharing their webcams. Not the most effective. What we focus on is giving the teacher tools to engage the students live, to get them apply themselves, because when they actively do things, they learn. Live analytics come back to the teacher in terms of which students are applying themselves. The teacher can use those analytics to see who's struggling, give them feedback in the moment. The end result is the students do more time applying themselves, getting feedback and learning, and the teacher is not relying on webcams to see who's struggling to give feedback in the moment. Awesome. So another thing that we haven't mentioned is obviously Big Blue Button is open source, just like Moodle. Yeah. So very important, and I know that we are integrating this feature that you can develop uh, extensions to Big Blue Button. So can you give us a bit more feedback on that? Right, so the integration for Big Blue Button is built into the core of Moodle. We got built into Moodle 4.0. What we want to do is be able to let the community further extend the integration. And instead of having to go into change the core code, we're going to support sub plugins. So other parts of Moodle already support this, like the quiz module. What it's going to let you do is if you want to change maybe the way the recordings are looking or how the activity completion is com computed. Over the next couple of releases, we're going to extend the capability to support sub plugins so that you can actually add that capability without modifying the core. Awesome. Thanks so much. And what would you say are the, the, the main drivers when people say, OK, I'm going to stop it with let's not name uh, <laughs> video conferences, but Some other these very time. popular uh, tools for the general meetings. But when, what are the drivers that make them say, OK, I need, I need a pro tool for teaching, not just a meeting room? Right. So if you are delivering virtual classes and you really care about what the students are doing to increase learning outcomes, uh, a lot of times people will do it with a video conferencing system and students will come, the teacher will talk, the class has occurred, but the real learning occurs when the students have to apply what they're doing. So the difference with us is we do video, we share your, share your screen, but we do have tools built in that make it easy for the teacher to apply themselves, to have the students apply themselves. And as the students use these tools, it generates a live analytics and it tells the teacher, hey, there's maybe a student that is not uh, applying themselves or participating. And it gives them a chance to call that student or encourage the student. And the student will be like, what? The teacher is aware of me? Yes, because the teacher is not relying on the webcams. They can actually see the activity of the student. Mm -hmm. So you take that focus on pedagogy, applied learning, feedback. You marry it with a deep integration with Moodle where we share analytics back and forth. And now you have a solution that really complements Moodle. Moodle being the asynchronous part for the learning, Big Blue Button being a synchronous part, and we build them together so they look like one complete application. Excellent. Well, thanks for that. So I think it's, as you say, it's very different uh, to hear, to listen, and to engage with the content and with the experience of the classroom. So that's, that's surely a, a, a much better retention, a much better learning experience for the users. So. And I will add something, I'll add something more, Carlos, because so much is going on about AI, and AI is mm -hmm. going to replace the teacher, or it's going to replace mm -hmm. learning for the student. And no. So what we want to do is, if you're learning at home and you're using like you know, an artificial intelligence to help you learn, what does it mean for the value of the virtual classes? And I think their virtual classes, their value increases because that's when humans, when teachers and students come together live, and the teacher can... Uh, kind of flip the classroom a bit if the students been spending time on their own. You spend more time in the class doing things and less time listening. Mm -hmm. And so you get that human feedback from the teacher. You work with your peers. So there's a social constructivism that's going on. Mm -hmm. And the teacher's there to like encourage and support and motivate the student. And that is a really critical part of learning. So we want that virtual classroom experience to be the most positive experience for the student that pushes them and you know, struggle a bit during the class because struggle is good, 
but it's a really important part of learning, and we want to make it the best part for uh, the online learning experience. Wonderful. And how has this in-presence experience that Moodle Mood Global has been for you so far? Uh, it's good. The Moodle community is actually one of the, the strongest communities I've seen for open source. Uh, the ethos of the community is build something that empowers teachers to improve our world. It started 20 years ago. It is now two-thirds of the higher education, and it's because it's open source. So we share that ethos. Mm -hmm. We're open source as well. We've been at it for 14 years. Moodle's been at it for 20 years. But the Moodle community is everybody is here together to improve Moodle. And as we work together, it just multiplies across the entire world. So it feels really good to be with Moodle. It feels good to be supporting Moodle. It feels good to be part of Moodle. And I can't wait to see what we're going to do in the next five years. Awesome. Happy to see that as well. Thank you, Fred. Thanks, Carlos. 